new coupon code all right this will give you 10 apt cards make sure you guys insert it hey what is up guys guitar Oak here welcome back to another counter side video all right so this week's update is gonna be extremely extremely cool there's a lot of things coming up and if you guys are like new and you want to start the game or you want to make a new account i feel like you know the next few days is going to be a good day so let's jump into it and talk about all the things we're getting tomorrow all right so first things first uh okay we're going to have maintenance as always compensation will be 300 quarts 1000 ethereum so new content will be left behind alone event starts okay so this new event is going to replace the current one that we have the halloween event or so-called alongside with the event missions and event shop again all right we're going to have 100th day celebration event is here 100th day event missions and event crafting material drop new operator system all right so i've already talked about that and make a video of that normal recruitment there will be sigma that you can try to get for sure so operator can be recruited right now 100 day special recruitment 10 free recruits every single day for the next 10 days up to 100 recruitments very pork right there all right we're gonna have a bunch of wedding march skins for sigma kt wait Mia and Xiaolin, 100 day punch in, 100 day Katryoshka, which is 100 coins, limit one per day, 100 day special package, and a bunch of operator packages. And all right, let's have a look at them individually. First things first, the 100th day celebration event. Now, as you can see, uh, we're gonna have the chance to get various materials. You can get fusion core times 10, 500 quartz after clearing event missions. Very good. And you're gonna get this uh, Katryoshka, which is one per day. And you can open it to get new ones of the next level or rewards of the current level. All right, alongside with that, we're going to have free daily 10 pulls for 10 days, I assume, because it's 100 pulls, right? I don't think it's true out in one day. I'm sure most of you guys do not want to miss out on this. 100 pulls is a lot. All right, there's a chance that you can get 2 to 3 SSRs considering the rates of this game is pretty good. I'm not surprised if some people actually get 10 SSRs as well. All right, left behind alone. So this is like an exclusive Sigma event, it looks like. And the requirement is you have to clear the mainstream episode 1 which is not that hard actually for new players you should be able to join it as soon as you can sigma probability up so you can now pull for sigma fortunately sigma is a tower type mech tower type to be precise and that's not going to stop any players from getting him or her since it's a mech i'm not sure what to address it as so operator is unlocked so i've already done a video on operator about three days ago or four days ago i, I will link it in the description below so if you guys want to check that out and understand what operators are typically good as a beginner all right we're gonna have new skins as well in our current patch looks like this is mia's skin so we're gonna have xiaolin wedding skin we're gonna have kt wait i believe and last but not least sigma's wedding skin so all of those are very very good the highlight here seems to be around the operators and sigma so let's talk about sigma first how good is Sigma in general? Okay, so we're gonna jump into some practice. So if you guys are not familiar with Sigma skills, so let me briefly explain. Okay, so let me try and deploy Sigma right here. As you can see, four cost mech. Okay, what makes him or her? I don't know what to address Sigma, him or her. You can see the range, number one. That range is insane. All right, tower unit, you can place Sigma near your ship and Sigma will be able to attack enemies every few seconds just like that that is like an incredible uh you know range in terms of attacking and it also has aoe so valid hits of three which is actually quite good so the passive skill of sigma is what makes what makes her extremely strong she has the ability to basically increase the roll disadvantage damage resistance by 30 percent for all allies all right and obviously sigma is a unit that cannot be healed unfortunately at skill level 5 the roll advantage damage plus 60 percent is added to the buff and she will have a deployment resource plus one upon death if sigma dies that will give you deployment resource plus one but even right now as you can see uh, she's getting this plus one every few seconds so that is from this special skill all right so sigma when deployed will give you plus one deployment skill every few seconds similar to uh Hoina, but Sigma is just a better choice now, right? That skill is basically uh, locked into this skill right here, which is Sigma special skill. So by default, every 24 seconds, she will cast this spell where she will recover a uh, one deployment resource and she will consume 15% of the HP, apparently. At skill level five though, she will create like a barrier, 20% of her max HP, and you can use this up to three times apparently. So let's talk about Sigma's ultimate. Very cool, let me show you guys the ultimate. She summons this thing. Look at this, she summons a CO 
This huge giant robot. Oh my god, look at that dude. That's what makes Sigma really, really fun. Alright, have the ability to summon this giant machine robot that inflicts AoE damage. And this robot has taunt as well. It will force enemies to attack this robot, uh, I think for 3 seconds or so. And any enemy that's within this uh, range, as you can see this circle, this red circle, will have their attack decreased by 10%. And at level 5, the attack will be decreased by 20%. And Sigma will give a plus 1 deployment resource as well at level 5. So this dude, you know, is similar to John Mason's CO, but way stronger in my opinion. Summoning creatures like this is going to be really really annoying to deal with in PvP. Now, with that being said, should you pull for Sigma? I would say yes, absolutely. Uh, Sigma is the best tower unit in the game, even in KR today. There's no competition. And that's number one. Number two, Sigma is a mech type. If you're, ask, if you're wondering about equipments and stuff, Sigma is gonna use CDR. Ideally, CDR is gonna be ideal for Sigma. Highly recommend if you guys have any mech CDR cooldown reduction, save it for Sigma. Alright, if you can get, give her like 50% or even 60% CDR, that's going to be really really OP. And the meta is going to be surrounding Sigma throughout this entire week and perhaps the next entire week as well. So stay tuned for that, you're going to see Sigma everywhere. She is going to be really really strong, dominating the entire PvP arena. Now Sigma's uh, real counter is going to be Awaken Nayubin. So for now, we don't really have the Nayubin as counter yet, but that will come in the future. For now, I would say Sigma is definitely one of the best characters to pull. If you're looking like a, for a unit to invest, definitely look no further. I would say Sigma is going to be pretty future-proof. Alright guys, so with that being said, I'll be pulling Sigma tomorrow and I think I might be pulling for some of the uh, viewers as well. So if you guys want to tune into the live stream, join the Discord, I'll usually let you guys know the time. As always, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let me know what you guys think of Sigma. Have a nice day. Good. Bye.